Hey y'all, it is the Beer Thrift Machine. Today we are going to go thrifting, so stay tuned. Alright y'all, if you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also is the Beer Thrift Machine here on YouTube, and I basically buy stuff and flip it online for a profit, for a living. So today I'm going to take you thrifting with me, so let's go ahead and get started. It is 8 o'clock, so they did open at 8, so I'm a little bit later than I want it to be. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Usually our state sales aren't too terribly busy. There's usually not like a line or anything on a Friday. So we'll see. It's a pretty nice neighborhood. I've, I've been to a couple in here, but the people that are running the estate sale, I've been to these guys' estate sales before and they're always really, really high on the first day. Actually, I think they're high on the second day, but we'll see. They say they hold a bunch of tools in the garage, so I'll go take a look. I just came out of there and it was pretty good uh, like I said I knew that they had some tools and I did find one that was worth my while when you're going through like estate sales look for big heavy pipe wrenches a lot of people don't know what they are or a lot of people don't want them or need them but they sell good on eBay like this one right here is gonna be a rigid and this is like a die kit that puts threads on large pipes and these are pretty big this is a like a big pipe wrench so I basically have three bits and the actual wrench itself and Ridget's a good name made in the United States stuff like the older stuff and I sold, throw, sold comp up $150 for the stuff I just bought I got it for 40 bucks and then I have this big bender I haven't really looked at that yet and but it's Ridget made in the United States and it's in decent condition uh, so I'm sure that goes for like 50 bucks so that's not bad out of 40 bucks probably $200 and it's my first stop all right, as you just saw, I really didn't take the GoPro inside the store hardly at all. So I want to go over the stuff that I bought today and the reason why I picked it up. And uh, I was just on a mission today. Like some days I don't want to film in the thrift store. I just want to get stuff done. I want to look quickly. And on camera, all that looks like is me going through racks at 100 mile an hour or looking through golf clubs very quickly. And I don't really take the time to, to pick out the ones I'm going to buy. So I just didn't want to get that involved in this. So what we're going to do today is go over the stuff that I did buy and the reasons why I bought them. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to go over the stuff that I showed you on the film already, like the stuff I picked from the up from the estate sale. Um, and some other things because you already saw it. So the first item I picked up are some Keen pink and gray shoes. The reason why I picked these up, these don't go for a super lot of money. They used to go for like 39 bucks. I think they're down to like $20, but these are in really good condition. Doesn't look like they've been used hardly at all. And this is a good size, I'm pretty sure. It is a size eight and a half in women. So not, you know, really good size. And that's why I picked them up is because the condition of these are really good. Uh, a lot of times the condition of these little stringy things or whatever they're called to tighten the shoe can be worn out or this is rusted or something because the person wore them in salt water. But these are in really good condition. That's why I picked them up. Um, I think I already went over this, but the chef's knife uh, sharpener. These things are always good to go. I'll tell you that is if you pick them up, this is, it looked like it's new, but it's not. It just has the box and this is what they look like and they always sell for me. I've never had one of these not sell, uh, and I've never had one not work. So when I go home and test it, it's really easy. They have like little blades in them, so what you wanna do is just make sure everything looks nice and not like wore out, and that's really it. And I just, you know, make sure it turns on and sell it like that, and they always sell. I don't do a lot of media, but I did pick up, uh, these are Law & Order SVUs, and they're brand new in the pack. Obviously, they didn't go for $40, and this one says, 45 and 45. Uh, I got them for 50 cents at a Goodwill and I picked them up because they're brand new and they're not making any more of these brand new probably. So I don't know, maybe they are. But I did see some cold, sold comps for like 10 bucks or 50 cents into 10 bucks for each one. That's not bad. Let's go over some. I did pick up five of these Starbucks destination mugs. So I got San Antonio, I got Kentucky. I got Pittsburgh, I got Arizona, and then I got Toronto. So I don't, I didn't look at the sold comps just because I have sold these in the past and they usually go for like $22 with free shipping. Uh, I paid, like I said, I think already that I actually paid less than $4. It was like $3.99 for all of these. So I'm in the good already on these. They're going to be like a money maker. I don't really pick up a lot of mugs because I don't like shipping like all oh, breakables and glass and stuff. I rather ship like tools or whatever. But this, I couldn't resist picking these up. I know that they'll sell. I don't know if I'm going to lot them all together, maybe, or lot a couple. I 
have no idea yet, but I know that they're going to sell. And I always pick up, I don't pick up a lot of Starbucks mugs, but I do pick up the Destinations one, the ones that actually has like a, um, you know, name of a place on it. And these are called You Are Here Collection. There's another one that I think is more valuable out there, but these I think are pretty good to pick up. Uh, the Orvis stuff, I did pick up Orvis and I already went over that I picked up because they're um, 2XLs. And this one right here is the Pearl Snap one, and it's called Trout Bum. And this is going to be worth probably, that one's not Pearl Snap, this one's Pearl Snap. That one right there, it's called Trout Bum. And this is pretty good. There's a sold comp for like $33 just on that. But since these are all the same size, and they're all the same type of shirt, like they're uh, fisherman shirts, and one's kind of like a dressy fisherman shirt, and two are like going out and actually fishing in it. I'm gonna lot them up because they're all the same size and probably do pretty well on them. This I probably shouldn't have bought. The only reason I bought it, um, I don't even know why I didn't look it up. I just saw Made in the United States and Mountain Express, and I was like, this has got to be worth money, but it's not. This is a Mountain Express like sweater thing. It's not even wool. Uh, it's just cotton and it's knit and it's um it's not really worth much at all i couldn't even find it on ebay which i don't know why i bought it but i bought it so whatever all right moving on i got some foot joy stuff foot joys are going to be the fjs and they always have the fj right there on the zipper and these go for pretty good if you find foot joy i stopped buying their polos actually I, I did buy their polo a while back i stopped buying them but it seems like they're coming around because the sole comps on these are pretty good this is like a sleeveless vest like a golf vest this one's an extra large so that's a good size and i got another one for uh, a large which is a black one which is nice and these are like quarter zip sleeveless golf vest polyester so that's They'll go pretty good. There's a sole comp in the 30s on those. All the clothing I got today was 50% off. That's the only reason I bought it is I don't I don't really source clothing, but how can you not source 50% off clothing, right? So I got another uh, Foot Joy Extra Large. This is a polo. These are pretty nice. The thing about these is that I find that a lot of them will have pools in them, uh, like fabric pools. So you just want to check them out really, really good before you buy them. And a lot of these are always going to have emblems on them. I don't know what that emblem is, but the vest that I picked up today did not have any emblems. They weren't embroidered in any way. And usually Foot Joy stuff is going to be embroidered, which doesn't really knock the value down too much, but it does a little bit. But not having those embroidered, that's even going to make them sell even faster. Uh, this I got for like a dollar next to nothing and I I just had to pick it up. It's an older Polo Ralph Lauren uh, Golf pullover. It's just a like a good old crew neck pullover got the polo on the sleeve um, I just had to pick I mean for a dollar I, I can probably sell it for eleven dollars plus shipping maybe and then I did pick up a Levi's got this for super cheap too. This is just a old Levi's denim shirt like a medium wash or light wash. I always pick up denim shirts if they're some sort of name brand and they always sell. My, not for a ton of money, I think I got $1.50 into that. It's probably gonna sell for like 18 bucks. And then this is the last thing that I bought other than the stuff that you already saw about the big tools is uh, this red little dish. And the reason why I bought this is because there's something called Cinnabar. And it begins with a C, C, I, N, N, A, B, A, R, maybe. I don't know. But it's a resin that they do and it actually has like mercury in it. I'm not at all some sort of expert on any of this. I don't even know if this is real. So basically, they do have this red tint on them. And they uh, a lot of times they have like a black back right here. And they're worth a ton of money if they're real. I have not tested this one yet. There's a way to test it with acetone. You just kind of like move it back and forth. And if this color comes off, like the red comes off, that means it's usually real. And if it doesn't, it means it's plastic. Now, some of the things I looked up that Cinnabar is light because it's a resin. This is pretty light and it's going to be very detailed. So as you can see in this one, this one is super detailed. There are details even in like the little leaves inside of this area, there's even little details of like little other vines. And there's every square inch of this is covered in some sort of detail, which is usually what it is for the real stuff. The real, like the real old ones are uh, super worth a lot of money. Just know that something is out there that is called Cinnabar that looks like this, but definitely do your research because I don't know really what I'm talking about here. I know that, like I said, I know how to test this. 
I, I saw some things because I looked it up before about, you know, what to look for about the no seam and stuff, but definitely do your homework because you could spend a lot of money on this and they'd be fake and then they're just reproductions and I don't think they're worth anything. This is going to be a really cool like key tray or whatever in the kitchen or it's going to be worth like $400. Hopefully it's been educational. I did throw some sold comps up on the screen so you know exactly how much this stuff goes for in case you're out looking. You can pick some of this stuff up and make some money yourself on eBay. They also sell on like places like Poshmark and Macari too. So hopefully, like I said, this has been educational. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, always remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And you know I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.